Hey, good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Sloan Park, or Riverview Park, if you prefer. We're in Mesa, Arizona, and it's Todd Garbison for Southwest Sports Network. We're underway in another underclass pool game in the 2015 Desert Classic, put on by Southwest Woodbat Classics. And our pool game today features Arizona Pro Orange and Jaguars White in the underclass division. And it's, uh, again, another pool game for each of these two squads. Chad Christel leads off for Arizona Pro. And he's up there with a count of two balls and one strike. Matt Bailey gets the start for the Jaguars. And the next pitch foul to the backstop. Two balls, two strikes to Christel. Again, the leadoff hitter playing shortstop for Arizona Pro. Jaguars come in two and one in pool play. And for Arizona Pro, two losses in the first couple of games. The uh, score had not been uh, posted as of uh, just a little while ago for their game last night that uh, was scheduled to be uh, played at about 8.30. Of course, we've had some weather concerns throughout the tournament to this point as uh, Christel bounced that ball over to the right side. Stotts, the uh, second baseman, that's uh, Noah Stotts, throws him out at first base. So the leadoff hitter retired, and that'll bring up the center fielder, Andrew Shackelford. So it's Christel and then Shackelford. Josh Perino will bat third in pitch. Aiden Armstrong is the catcher. He bats fourth. Then T.J. Ems at third base bats fifth. Fly ball hit uh, pretty well out to center field, and that's going to get over the head of the center fielder, and that'll be extra bases for Shackelford. He's into second base, and it's a one-out double. Interesting there, the uh, fly ball gets over the head of the uh, center fielder of the Jaguars, and we'll see if that uh, kind of adjusts how they set up their outfield. Again, wood bats, so maybe you don't expect quite as much pop, but Shackelford able to get that ball into the outfield grass. And the first one to Josh Perino is over for a strike, and it's 0-1. And so we left off with M's the third baseman batting fifth. Jimmy McManus hits sixth and plays second base for Arizona Pro. Then Ethan Johnson at first base is seventh. The next pitch misses for a ball in the count one and one. Hitting in the eighth spot, an extra hitter, Max Miller. Then Connor Keating, also an extra hitter, bats ninth. The number 10 hitter is the right fielder, Dietrich Floyd. And Matt Cleghorn will bat 11th and play left field. And that pitch catches the inside corner for a strike, and the count goes to one and two. One on, one out, just underway, top of the first inning. And now two balls and two strikes to count. Shackelford at second with one out. Aiden Armstrong, the catcher, bats next for Arizona Pro. And there's a fly ball into right field. That's playable out there and put away in right. And that's out number two. And that'll give us a chance to set the Jaguar defense. It's Noah Michael in left field. Jake Mayock in center. Ben Allen in right. Austin Logue plays third base, Sam Aguilar the shortstop, then Noah Stotts at second, Brandon Cohn at first, and Tyler Martinez catches Matt Bailey. Yeah, pitch to Armstrong, a swing and a miss for a strike, and it's 0-1. Another one strike pitch. Breaking ball a little bit high, 1-1. One I'll have to rain Thursday night, rain during the day yesterday. Had some overnight rain again today, but uh, some sunshine and a fly ball out to left field. And that's put away by Michael in left, and that will end the inning. No runs, a base hit, and a runner left at second base after a half inning of play. Arizona Pro nothing, and the Jaguars coming up. Jaguars go to work in the bottom of the first inning as Sam Aguilar leads off and takes high for ball one. Jaguars playing with just nine today, so everybody gets in. No batting lineup changes here. As the next one is over for a strike, and the count is one and one. So it's Aguilar, the shortstop, leading off. Tyler Martinez behind the plate, bats second. Brandon Cohn at first base, bats third. Then Matt Bailey, the pitcher, is fourth. And a pitch over for a strike to Aguilar. Now one and two as uh, 
Trying to get through the rest of the order. Noah Stotts at second, bats fifth. The number six hitter, Jake Byock. Then Noah Michael in left, bats seventh. Austin Logue eighth. Ben Allen ninth. And a ground ball out to short. Fielded, bobbled a bit. Throw wide of the bag, but uh, able to keep the foot on the bag over there at first base. It's a 6-3 ground down of Aguilar. Not as smooth as uh, Arizona Pro would draw it up, but uh, the result the same as they get the out at first base. And now Tyler Martinez, the catcher. And Martinez not wasting any time. Going after that first one fouls it straight back to the backstop for a strike. Defensively for Arizona Pro, it's Josh Perino getting the start today. He's on the hill for Arizona Pro. His one strike pitch is low and away, and the count goes to one and one. His battery mate this afternoon, Aiden Armstrong. Then it's Ethan Johnson at first, Jimmy McManus at second, Chad Christel the shortstop, TJ Ms at third. So the 1 1 pitch. That's put in play. That's over the head of the third baseman and into left field, and it's a base hit for Martinez. Tyler Martinez with a one-out single. He's aboard at first base for Brandon Cohn. And we'll get a change over at first at the uh, at the uh, the first base bag there. The new base runner, Sam Aguilar, comes in. So they courtesy run for Martinez. Now that's off the handle of the bat, but a uh, fair ball just over the bag at first. Aguilar going to come around second base. He'll try for third. The throw goes that way, but not in time. Hey, that'll put runners at the corners. And Cone didn't get a whole lot of it, but he had good placement over the head of the first baseman, Johnson. And now with runners at first and third, it'll bring up Matt Bailey. And we got you around the infield for Arizona Pro. Their outfield, Cleghorn in left, Shackelford in center, Floyd in right. And, of course, Arizona Pro with uh, 11 hitters in their lineup, so they may have some position changes, and we'll try to keep up with those, but not always possible. Bailey fouled the first one off for a strike, trying to get his team on the board and help himself out here in the bottom of the first. Runner from first takes off. Uh, maybe a hit and run there, and the ball fouled out of play on the first base side. Aguilar running for Martinez at third base. Cone at first with one out in the bottom of the first and no score. There's Perino, the right-hander, with a set of the two-strike pitch with a runner going again. Pitch over for a strike and no throw to second base. So Bailey called out on strikes for out number two. Cone moves himself in a scoring position with a swipe of second. And the batter is Noah Stotts. First one foul to the backstop for a strike. Two in scoring position with two outs. And the breaking ball low and away. Pitch over for a strike, and it's one and two. And that pitch fouled off of the plate. Stott stays alive. No score bottom of the first inning. Jaguars trying to change it here. It'll take something with two strikes from Stotts. And a slow tapper charging the shortstop. Christel has it. Throws on the run to first base in time. And the inning is over. Another 6-3 ground out. That bookends the first inning 
For the Jaguars, no runs, a couple of base hits, and two runners left on after an inning of play from Riverview slash Sloan Park. There's no score. TJM is the leadoff hitter for Arizona Pro in the top of the second. First pitch up and in for ball one. Ems, McManus, and Johnson to bat in the second. The 1 0 pitch is high. Two balls and no strikes. And Bailey, the right hander, back to the wind. The 2 0 pitch. Dip down and ball fouled back to the backstop, two and one. And I say Riverview slash Sloan. I really think it's uh, it's it's Sloan Park is the name of the entire complex now as the Cubs sold the naming rights prior to spring training. Pitch over for a strike. It's uh, Sloan Electric, I think, a company in Chicago. But um, they uh, have sold the naming rights, but this uh, used to be, and part of it still, I think, is Riverview Park. And so I think people probably know it by both names. Two and two on M's, the third baseman for Arizona Pro. Going after the next one, lifts it into shallow center field. Aguilar going back, but it's the center fielder, Mayak, that calls him off and makes the catch for out number one. Now one away for Jimmy McManus, the second baseman. Each team with a base hit in the first inning. Each team gets a runner into scoring position and for the Jaguars actually get runners to second and third but neither team can score in the first. Next pitch catches the outside corner for a strike. You get a baseball on the field. That'll be the reason for our timeout here. Of course, this is part of that uh, cloverleaf setup that you see at all the uh, spring training, minor league parts of the uh, complexes around the valley. And so all four fields going on here in this tournament. Uh, swing and a miss. Now one ball, two strikes. The one-two pitch is high, two balls and two strikes. Again, all four fields going on here. And then uh, a bulk of the game is being played at Goodyear Ballpark Complex, home of the Reds and the Indians. Of course, we're at the home of the Chicago Cubs as McManus swings and misses. And that's uh, strikeout number one for Matt Bailey, second out of the inning for Arizona Pro, and it brings up the first baseman, Ethan Johnson. First pitch over the outside corner for a strike. This is our second game of the tournament. We were originally scheduled to do a, what we were calling a feature game each night. As the next one is up and in, and it's a ball and a strike. We got to Thursday night's game in, but because of the weather concerns yesterday and, and going into last night, schedule got compacted a little bit, and so there was concern that we might not be able to get in the, uh, the late game. There's a swing and a miss, and it's one and two. So we moved it to a daytime doubleheader today. We'll have another one coming up at 2.30, and then we'll be back here at this same complex tomorrow to bring you a semifinal and championship game. There's a swing and a miss. Johnson is out on strikes. That's back-to-back punch-outs for Matt Bailey. And after an inning and a half, there's still no score. Six, seven, and eight in the order for the Jaguars in the bottom of the second inning. Jake Mayock takes low and away for a ball. Noah Michael, Austin Logue to follow for the Jaguars. That ball just out to the outfield grass and put away by the second baseman, McManus. And that's how number one.
And Noah Michael, the left fielder, steps in for the Jaguars. First pitch low for ball one. Jaguars lost their pool opener, a one-run loss to Team Dinger, 4-3. to three. But they've come back with a couple of wins. There's a ground ball over to McManus, the second baseman. Fields and throws to first base in time, and that's out number two. Two away, the base is empty. The batter is the third baseman, Austin Logue. But a uh, couple of wins then for the Jaguars as they beat the Grinders 3-2. to two. And then the GBA 15U by a score of 18-4. to four. And The first one to Logue over for a strike, and it's nothing in one. Four in a row retired by Josh Perino after giving up back-to-back -back base hits with one out in the first. Now the one strike pitch. It's high for a ball and it's one and one. The one one pitch. Foul to the backstop and it's one and two. Ben Allen, the right fielder next for the Jaguars. We'll see if he gets a chance to hit in the second or if he'll lead off the third. One two pitch and a breaking ball. That's the inside corner and it catches Lug looking. He is out on strikes and that will end the uh, second inning. Three up and three down go the uh, Jaguars. After two innings of play, there's no score. Max Miller, the leadoff hitter for Arizona Pro in the top of the third. Bottom part of the order, 8, 9, and 10. A ground ball up the middle. Aguilar to his left. Behind the bag throws, and that's in time. Pretty play out there by the shortstop Sam Aguilar to throw out Miller. And there's one gone in the third. Now the batter is Connor Keating. The first one is strike. I don't know if that's uh, on the swing or a cold strike. Sweeping breaking ball that Keating offered at and tried to hold up. Going after the next one, pops it up into foul territory and just out of the reach of the pitcher Bailey, who got off the mound in a hurry. Nothing and two on Keating. Dietrich Floyd, the right fielder, next. And a pitch low for a ball, and it's one and two. Matt Bailey has retired six in a row and seven of the first eight. They count now two and two on Keating. No score in the top of the third. Here's on a pro with one hit. The Jaguars with two. And the next one misses low it away. Three balls, two strikes. So Bailey jumped ahead, but now the count runs full. The wide and the 3 2. And that's hit well out to left field, and that's going to get to over the head of the left fielder, Michael, and go to the warning track. And that'll be a double for Keating. He'll pull in at second base, second base hit, and second double of the day for Arizona Pro. Number 10 hitter in the order coming to the plate. That's Dietrich Floyd, the right fielder. And the first one of Floyd misses for a ball.
The 1-0 pitch. That's put in play. A slow roller to the right side. Stotts over to get it. And that's on to first base. A ground out for Floyd. He's out 4-3 to three as Keating goes to third base. And the batter is Matt Cleghorn. First time Arizona Pro has gotten a runner to third base. Now I'm going to try to get him in with two outs. And the first one to Cleghorn is low for ball one. No scores. We play in the top of the third. It's an underclass pool game in the 2015 Desert Classic. The 1 0 pitch. That's over for a strike, and it's 1 and 1. And a ground ball down the third base line, and that'll get the run in. That's going to be extra bases as this one rolls all the way to the corner and off the fence. Going to try for third base. Cleghorn, the relay throw is not in time. And in fact, the ball rolls away, but staying at third is Matt Cleghorn. It's an RBI triple, and Arizona Pro is on the board. They lead one to nothing. Just uh, hugged the line all the way down into the uh, warning track area down to, in the left field corner. Now the top of the order, Chad Crystal with a swing and a miss for strike one. Three hits in the day for Arizona Pro Orange and all three extra base hits. Two doubles and now a triple. And the one strike misses and it's one and one martinez with a pump fake to try to keep cleghorn a little tighter to the bag at third Christel grounded out to start the ball game now swing and a miss and it's one and two Bailey back up there and ready as Christel steps in. Here's the wind of the 1-2 pitch. And a ground ball up the middle. Aguilar, boy, able to get to that one as well, but not going to be able to get a throw over to first base. It'll be an infield single and an RBI for Chad Christel, and it's 2-0 Arizona Pro. Now Andrew Shackelford, who had a double his first time up. Look over to first. Bailey stepped off and then turned that away, but no throw. Breaking ball and a high pop-up left side of the infield. Logue called forward and made the catch, and that will end the third inning for Arizona Pro. But they get on the board first, two runs on three hits. They leave one, and after two and a half, it's Arizona Pro two. And Jaguars, nothing. Nine, one, and two in the order for the Jaguars in the third as Ben Allen takes strike one. Sam Aguilar, Tyler Martinez to follow in the bottom of the third. Not able to hold up a high pitch out of the strike zone. Not able to stop that swing, and he falls behind on the count 0-2. And, and breaking ball bounced in. One ball and two strikes. Josh Perino pitching with a lead now as he goes to work in the bottom of the third, the one-two pitch, and a slow ground ball. McManus over fields and throws to first base. Leadoff hitter retired in the bottom of the third inning on a 4-3 ground down. And it brings up Sam Aguilar. Sam with the ground out his first time up, 0 for 1 today. And a first pitch popped up down the right field line. And a 
actually didn't get to out to the outfield grass there, put away by the uh, second baseman, McManus. And there's two away. Ball came off the bat, thought it was going to carry a little bit farther down the right field line, but uh, again, a step away from the uh, outfield grass, and McManus able to bring it in. Now Tyler Martinez, who had a base hit his first time up. Trying to get it started with two outs in the bottom of the third and his team trailing 2 nothing. That pitch over for a strike. Arizona Pro leading 2 nothing. RBI triple from Matt Cleghorn. RBI infield single from Chad Christel. Now the 1-1. One -one. That's uh, low for a ball. 2-1-1. And another pop-up right about that same spot, a little deeper this time, back on the outfield grass. And McManus involved in all three outs for Arizona Pro as Martinez pops out to end the inning. That's another three-up, three-down inning, eight in a row set down by Josh Perino. And after three innings of play, Jaguars trail Arizona Pro 2-0. Three, four, and five of the order for Arizona Pro in the top of the fourth inning. Josh Perino leads off. He takes ball one. Josh with a fly ball to Allen in right field his first time up. Hops back from a pitch that uh, stays on the inside corner, and it's uh, called strike one and one. Bailey's one, one, right back in the same spot. Gets another called strike, and it's one and two. The one-two pitch. And on the fist, slow roller. That's cut off at third to throw on to first base. And it's uh, not going to be in time there. It was uh, not hit very hard. Again, in on the fist there. And uh, Perino will leg out an infield single. Not much desert uh, the uh, Jaguars rather could do as... Shackelford will come out to run for Perino. I don't know that there was a whole lot they could do there. Logue, the third baseman, came over to cut it off, and that's what you want to see. You get your third baseman to get anything he can get to with his momentum going toward first base as opposed to the shortstop, who his momentum would be going away from the bag. Aiden Armstrong at the plate, 0 for 1. He had a fly ball to Michael in left field to end the first. The 1-0, runner takes off, and Armstrong is hit by the pitch. So Shackle for running for Perino gets to second base, and Armstrong aboard at first, and we'll get a timeout from the Jaguar dugout. Playing in the top of the fourth inning, Arizona Pro leads the Jaguars 2 to nothing. TJ Ems going after the first pitch. Fouls it out of play on the right side. That's strike one. Ems with a fly ball to Mayak in center field to start the second. 2 nothing. Arizona Pro, and looking to change it here with the first two aboard, and nobody out. The one strike pitch. Runner at second base takes off. Throw goes to third. And safe at third base. Shackelford running on his own there, I believe, as the trailing runner did not follow. And then put runners at first and third. Another courtesy runner at first base as Dietrich Floyd is running for Aiden Armstrong. Pitch over for a strike. One and two on M's. Step off for Bailey as he looks over to first base. Again, no throw over there.
the one two pitch lifted over on the first base side but that's out of play Bailey ready again, the right-hander with the set and the pitch with the runner going. The ball fouled out of play on the left side. There's on a pro leading 2-0. They scored twice in the top of the third inning. Jaguars got two aboard. In fact, runners to second and third with one out in the bottom of the first but could not score. And that's been their only threat. They went up and down in order in the second and again in the third. And a fly ball to left field. Will this get the run in? Michael with the catch. Runner from third will tag. The throw comes to the plate. And it's not in time. And it is a sacrifice fly off the bat of TJ Ems. And it's 3-0 Arizona Pro. Well, and now that becomes an even bigger a stolen base for Shackelford to get himself from second to third because uh, without that steal, if he's at second, obviously he doesn't move up on that fly ball to left field. Instead, with the steal of third, the fly ball deep enough to get him in as the pitch to Jimmy McManus is a breaking ball for a strike. Floyd aboard at first base running for Aiden Armstrong, who was hit by a pitch. The one strike is outside, and it's one and one. One on, one out, one in for Arizona Pro in the fourth. And a 1-1 count on McManus, who struck out his first time up. Runner takes off, and the ball fouled off. McManus, again, that looked like a hit and run. Just barely gets a piece of it, and that uh, takes away the stolen base. And the one-two pitch off the end of the bat, fouled out of play. And a one-two. And a fly ball. That's hit well out to left field. Michael going back. He's not going to get to this one. This one's going to roll almost to the warning track. Runner's going to be waved around. The uh, throw goes to third base, and it hits the runner. And safe then at third is McManus. Aguilar on the relay throw, but again hits the runner. So Floyd scores all the way from first base, and it's an RBI triple for Jimmy McManus. And it's 4-0 Arizona Pro. Ethan Johnson will bat with a runner at third and one out. Infield comes in. And a swing and a miss for strike one. Johnson struck out to end the second. Trying to get that runner in from third base. The 0-1. A swing and a miss, and it's nothing in two. Jaguars in need of a strikeout here. Johnson a bit tardy, but gets enough to foul it back, and the count stays 0-2. And Six base hits on the day now for Arizona Pro, and that is a cold third strike for Johnson, and he's out number two. So the Jaguars do get the strikeout, and that will allow them to relax the infield a bit. And Max Miller will try to get McManus in from third base with two outs in the inning.
First one from Bailey, low and away, ball one. The 1 0 pitch. And a ground ball to second, Stotts Fields. And on to first base in time, and that will end the inning. But Arizona Pro doubles the lead in the fourth. They scored two more times, and after three and a half, they lead by a score four to nothing. Three, four, and five of the order for the Jaguars in the fourth. Brandon Cohn takes strike one. He had a base hit his first time up. It's Cohn, Bailey, and Stotts for the Jaguars in the fourth. The one strike pitch. And a swing and a miss, and it's 0 and 2. The one and the two strike pitch, and a breaking ball hit on the ground, but foul wide of third. Off again, still 0-2 on Cone. Jaguars is now in a spot where they're just looking to get a base runner. Eight in a row retired by Josh Perino. And a ground ball to Christel, the shortstop. And that ball off the glove of the first baseman as Max Miller is now in at first base. And an error will start the Jaguar fourth. Easy toss over to first. Runner back. Pitch to Bailey alone away for ball one. And that's on the inside corner from Perino. One and one the count now. It's Bailey was called out on strikes, in fact, on three pitches back in the first inning. Again, a throw over, and again, Brandon Cohn dives back safely. That 1-1 one -one is low and away, two balls and a strike. Goes with the ball foul back to the backstop, two and two. Runner goes again, swing and a miss, throw to second base, a little bit late. And so a steal for Cohn as he's into a second base. First out of the inning and the third strikeout recorded by Josh Perino. And now the batter is Noah Stotts. First pitch to Stotts high for a ball. No, grounded out to the shortstop to end the first inning. That pitch over for a strike. Going to try to throw behind the runner at second, but not uh, nearly in time. The 
Perino looks back to second base, the 1-1 pitch. Popped up on the right side and playable out there and put away for out number two. McManus has been uh, busy over there at second base. Four pop-ups and a ground to make it two ground outs. Going back to the top of the second inning. Now Jake Mayock with a swing and a miss for strike one. Two outs and a runner at second, bottom of the fourth inning. Jaguars trailing Arizona Pro four to nothing. Final pool game. And a pop up will get back and out of play. Wow, it's the guy that started that string of uh, putting McManus to work at second base. Again, he's been a part of six of the last eight outs. There's a ground ball to third. Going to try somebody else and uh, save the call over at first base. So the ground ball fielded but then thrown wide, and it'll be the second error of the inning against Arizona Pro, and that keeps the inning alive for the Jaguars. Cone to third, and Mayock aboard at first base, and the batter is Noah Michael. Runner from first base takes off, throw to second base, and save the call. So a steal of second. Puts another runner in scoring position. Now Basic could score two. Pitch low for a ball. All right, I'll look it in. Now the set and the pitch. Over for a strike, and it's one and two. Yeah, the one two from Perino took a little off, and that's uh, fouled off. They had a ball and two strikes. Cone at third and Mayock at second with two outs in the home half of the fourth. Jaguars trying to get to three and one in pool play, but they're going to have to come from behind to do it. Down four nothing. And a swing and a miss. And that will end the inning. Uh, two strikeouts in the inning for Josh Perino. He's got four now through four innings. And for the Jaguars in the fourth, no runs, no hits, two errors, and two left. We put four in the books. Jaguars trail Arizona Pro four to nothing. Bottom three in the order for Arizona Pro in the fifth. Connor Keating leads it off and takes a ball. He got things going in the third inning for Arizona Pro with a double. Came around to score as well. And ball fouled out of play. Keating, Floyd, and Cleghorn in the top of the fifth. And the next pitch away. fouled back. We've got a new pitcher in there for the Jaguars as Noah Stotts takes over for Matt Bailey. And there's a slow roller over to third. Scooped up there. 
across the diamond, but uh, that brings the first baseman off the bag. And so an E5 starts the top of the fifth. That's Bailey that uh, has moved over to third base. And the first pitch to Dietrich Floyd misses for a ball. Runner goes, swing and a miss, throw down to second base. Not in time. Stolen base for Keating. And the next pitch misses outside, two and one. So I mentioned Staunton on the mound. Bailey at third. Lug goes from third base to second for the Jaguars. And a ground ball up the middle. Aguilar fields by the bag and on to first base. And the out is recorded as Floyd grounds out six to three. Keating goes to third on the play, and it'll bring up Matt Cleghorn, who had an RBI triple his last time up. He gets you the unofficial line for the Jaguars starter, Matt Bailey, goes four innings, allows six hits, four runs all earned. Did not give up a walk. He struck out three and hit one. Infield in again for the Jaguars, and the first one a Cleghorn over for a strike. And the 0-1 popped up in the infield, and that's Aguilar's ball. He puts it away. And that's out number two. Arizona Pro turns the order over again, and uh, batter is the leadoff hitter, Chad Christel. Ground out and an RBI infield single. Trying to get the runner in from third base with two outs in the fifth. Four nothing Arizona Pro. And Stott's first one over the outside corner, strike one. The one strike pitch hit on the ground over to the right side. And that's uh, picked up by Logue and on to Cone at first base. And Noah Stott's able to pitch around an error that started the inning. Does not allow a run. No runs, no hits, an error, and one left. After four and a half, still 4 nothing. Arizona Pro. Austin Lowe goes after the first pitch in the bottom of the fifth inning and fouls it back for a strike. Jaguars send up 8-9-1 and one in the order, chasing four runs. Lowe called out on strikes his first time up, fouls that one out of play, and he falls behind on the count, nothing in two. Two strike pitch sent right back up the middle and into center field. That'll be a leadoff base hit. And the batter is Ben Allen. Going after the first one, fouls it back for a strike. Ben grounded out his first time up. And a, excuse me, swing foul ball down the first baseline, and it's 0-2. Let me mention this is a first of two today. Our second game will be a futures division game. 
230 first pitch, Nutty Buddy and Grinders in the Futures Division. The 0-2 and a slow ground ball. Going to have to hurry. They get the out at second and on to first base. Not in time. You could tell it was going to be trouble to get two, but Arizona Pro does a nice job to get that force out at second base. Allen aboard on the fielder's choice, and now with one out, the batter is Sam Aguilar. Throw over to first, and Allen is sent back to the bag. And that throw goes over to first and gets away, and that will allow Allen to slide in. Boy, an awkward slide there as he gets into second base. Ball popped up on the right side, and there's McManus again. And he's got another put out. And Tyler Martinez will try to bring that runner in from second. First pitch is inside for ball one. Tyler with a base hit in the first inning. He popped out to end the third. And a ground ball over to the right side. There's McManus once more. And on to first base in time. A 4-3 ground out ends the Jaguar fifth inning. They get a leadoff base hit, but uh, can't get a runner past second. And uh, now after five innings of play, it's still 4-0 Arizona Pro. Shackleford, Perino, and Armstrong in the sixth inning for Arizona Pro. And the first one to uh, Shackleford low for a ball. Another defensive change for the Jaguars as Matt Bailey now behind the plate. And Tyler Martinez moves out to third base. Shackelford with a double in the first. He popped out in the third. And the next pitch misses for a ball, two and one. Pitch over for a strike, and it's two and two. Four runs, six hits, two errors for Arizona Pro. No runs, three hits, one error for the Jaguars. And there's a tomahawk shot in the left field, but that is put away for out number one. Michael with the play in left to record the first out. And Josh Perino at an infield hit. His last time up. And he takes on the inside corner, strike one. That's uh, right back up the middle. Stott's able to knock it down and has plenty of time then to throw out the runner at first base. That was a hard shot back up the middle. It, uh, I think it got all glove, though, so. Stout's able to throw Perino out at first base, and the batter is Aiden Armstrong. Yeah, that one goes behind Armstrong as he kind of ducked down. And the next pitch over for a strike, and it's one and one. Noah Stotts has done a nice job in relief of Matt Bailey. He's gone an inning and two-thirds. No runs and no hits. 
And a fly ball to left center field. And that's put away by Mayock. And that ends the inning. A three up, three down inning for Arizona Pro. Their first one since the second. And we move to the bottom of the sixth inning of play. The Arizona Pro Orange Squad leads the Jaguar White Squad by a score of four to nothing. Three, four, and five of the order, and it's Brandon Cohn going after the first pitch and lifts it into right field. That's put away, uh, kind of right center field, but put away by the right fielder. One pitch and one out at the bottom of the sixth. And the batter is Matt Bailey. Pitch inside for a ball to Bailey. It was uh, 0 for 2 today. A couple of strikeouts. Got some defensive changes for Arizona Pro. That's off the handle of the bat. Fouled off. And it's 1-1. One and one. T.J. Ems moves from third base to first base. Andrew Shackelford from center field to third. And Connor Keating in the ball game in center field. Breaking ball over for a strike and it's one and two. And the one two pitch. Just able to check the swing is Bailey, and it's two and two. The one and the two two pitch. And that one hits Bailey. So Matt to first base, and the banner will be Noah Stotts. Stotts with a ground out and a pop out in two trips. Jaguars down 4 nothing with five outs to go. And a pitch over for a strike. The one strike pitch runner goes, swing and a miss on a hit and run, or at least trying to protect the runner and save the call at second. And we got uh, time called here, and it is going to be a batter interference as Stotts fell across the plate. And in the umpire's judgment, that impedes the catcher Armstrong from doing anything. So it's a batter interference to retire Stotts. Bailey is sent back to first base, and the batter is Jake Mayock. First one over for a strike. Jake with a pop out in the second, and he reached out an error in the fourth. And that pitch over the outside corner is strike, and it's 0-2. Two. two outs and a runner at first. Bottom of the sixth inning, Jaguars down 4 nothing. And the 0-2. And a swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. Not much happening for the Jaguars in the sixth inning, and after six, they still trail four to nothing. TJ Ems, leadoff hitter in the seventh inning, takes ball one. Swing and a miss for a strike, and it's one and one. Ems, McManus, Johnson for Arizona Pro in the seventh inning, trying to add on to a 4 nothing lead. Yeah, one ball and two strikes. The wine and the one two. And misses outside. Two balls and two strikes. 
Ems with a fly ball in the second and then a sacrifice fly and an RBI in the fourth. The 2-2. Oh, just off the plate. And the count three and two. Off the handle, fouled off. And we'll stay three balls and two strikes. Dots with another 3-2, and he missed inside and loses M's. It's a leadoff walk in the seventh. Now here's Jimmy McManus, a strikeout in the second, an RBI triple in the fourth. Four runs scored for Arizona Pro. Four different players with RBI. And the pitch over for a strike. Matt Cleghorn got it started off with an RBI triple after Connor Keating doubled with one out in the third. Chad Crystal then with an RBI single scored Cleghorn. As that pitch is over for another strike and it's 0-2. Then that was in the third. Then in the fourth inning... After an infield single, a hit batter, and a stolen base, T.J. Ems delivered a sack fly to left, and then Jimmy McManus with the aforementioned RBI triple. Pitch off the plate and low, and it's one and two. Runner at first, nobody out top of the seventh inning. Arizona Pro leading Jaguars four to nothing. The set from Stotts in the one-two. Took a little off there as he pulled the string, and McManus nearly spins out of his shoes with a swing and a miss, and that's out number one. And brings up the first baseman, Ethan Johnson. And Johnson looking to get uh, on the good side of the books here. A couple of strikeouts and two at-bats for him. The first one is high for ball one. We're going to look ahead to the bottom of the seventh inning for the Jaguars. It'll be the bottom third of the order to try to get it going. Runner goes, ball fouled back, and a count of one and one. Jaguars have had a base runner in four of the six innings. And they've had a runner in scoring position in three of those four. Second and third with one out in the first inning, but couldn't get a run in. As that ball is fouled off, and it's one and two. Got a leadoff hitter aboard in the fourth. Ended up with a couple of more on, or two on total in the fourth inning, and couldn't score. So they've had three hits, reached twice on errors, left five runners on base. A ground ball into the hole. It's short out at second and to first base. Close, but uh, not in time over there at first. And they get the force of M's, 6 4, and then it's a fielder's choice for Johnson as he's on at first base with two outs for Max Miller. Miller's grounded out twice. Takes the first pitch for strike one. And that one fouled off of the plate. Maybe got a piece of the umpire. It looks to be okay. And the count is 0-2. Ground ball out to Aguilar at short. They'll go the short way to second base to retire Johnson. 
And that will end the inning. No runs, no hits. A leadoff walk and one left. We go to the bottom of the seventh inning. 4 nothing Arizona Pro. Oh, Michael trying to bunt his way on. Bunts the first pitch foul. And he's down a strike. Michael, Logue, and Allen for the Jaguars in the bottom of the seventh. Michael with a ground out and a strikeout in two at-bats. Pops this one up into foul territory. And just down to the reach of the first baseman, Ems. Good effort there, but could not get under it. And so the count goes to 0-2. And, Josh Perino into the wine and the two strike pitch. Anyone misses for a ball and it's one and two. Now the wine to the one two pitch. And a tardy on the breaking ball fouls it away and it's one and two. Off hit over the Jaguars in the seventh. They need base runners as the next one is low and it's two and two. Down four runs, so looking to load the bases to get the tying run to the plate here in the bottom of the seventh inning. Two pitch to Michael is high for a ball and it's three and two. And a ball popped up on the right side. And this time it's M's, the first baseman, with the play, and that's out number one. Cleghorn in as the new second baseman for Arizona Pro. There's Austin Logue. And he takes a breaking ball for strike one. Logue with a base hit his last time up, one for two on the day. And the next pitch is low, and it's one and one. One out, base is empty, bottom of the seventh inning. Jaguars down four nothing. The 1-1. One, one. Over but low, and it's two balls and a strike. Perino, the right-hander, back to the wind in the 2-1 pitch. Catches the outside corner for a called second strike, and it's 2-2. Two and two. And there's a fly ball into right center field. Going to be a long run, but it's put away by Floyd, the right fielder, and there's two down. So Jaguars down to their final out here in the seventh inning as Ben Allen, the number nine hitter, steps in. Allen with a ground out and a fielder's choice in two at-bats. Going after the first one and fouls it off. Over by the Jaguar dugout on the first base side. Yeah. 
Now the wind of the one strike pitch. A breaking ball, that one's tapped foul at the plate, and it's 0-2, and, and now the Jaguars down to their final strike. And the 0-2, bounced in for ball one. Jaguars just really not able to get to anything going. They got second and third with one out in the first and could not score. Check swing, and sure enough, Allen goes around, and that will end the inning and the ball game. It's a three-up, three-down seventh for the Jaguars, and we go final as Arizona Pro beats Jaguars by a score of four to nothing. Totals on the ball game for Arizona Pro Orange, four runs, Six hits, two errors, and five runners left for the Jaguars. No runs, three hits, one error, and six runners left on base. The winning pitcher is Josh Perino. Matt Bailey takes the loss for the Jaguars. And uh, Jaguars fall to two and two. Arizona Pro Orange, again, we had uh, didn't get a final score on their 8.30 game from last night. I don't know if that got played or got uh, moved to another time, but they were 0-2 plus whatever happened in that uh, uh, pool game last night, but uh, they do get a win here today, and uh, so that will do it. Again, our final score, it's Arizona Pro Orange 4, Jaguars White 0, and from uh, Riverview slash Sloan Park in Mesa, Arizona, Todd Garbison for Southwest Sports Network saying so long, and we hope to talk to you again soon.